back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much god bless you if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you always enjoy every content that i upload i can promise you this so dear friends do you have a dream and you feel like it's too big to be achieved or it's impossible to be achieved due to the challenges that you have been facing <laughs> towards achieving that dream if the answer is yes then grab a glass of wine a glass of water some popcorns and enjoy today's video because it's going to be a story time yes guys today's video is going to be a story time of a tanzanian lady by the name of joyce who had a childhood dream of getting married to a white man and as i'm talking right now guys she achieved her dream that is why i am telling you if you feel like your dream is not achievable it's too big to be achieved by watching this video till the end you are going to be inspired you're going to get that energy of keeping on pushing because you can still achieve your dream but not only that guys this couple is special <laughs> again bella with a special couple yes every story is different and today we have a tanzanian lady with a russian guy guys interracial couples in russia are very very few that is why i'm telling you that this couple is really special and among of the stories i have done today i am doing a story of a russian guy with a tanzanian lady <laughs> very very interesting but what is more exciting guys do you know what it is <laughs> we have got a new dating app do you remember when i told you that if you're not finding anyone online dating apps now you shouldn't worry because still exist dating apps that you don't know yet so the lady who shared her story also shared the dating app where she met the love of her life and that dating app guys to me it's totally new and i know to some of you it's gonna be new but you have a chance of giving it a try and who knows you might find the one just like the lady in our today's story so without wasting much of your time guys let us start our story right now so guys, our today's video will be about a Tanzanian lady by the name of Joyce, 27 years of age. It is good for us to know how was Joyce's past relationship experience like before joining online dating apps. Did she date Tanzanian men? And if yes, how was it like? <laughs> Because you know there is a video I did about dating East African men and oh my god I've been getting negative negative comments from East African men <laughs> complaining that what I said is not true but by listening to the experience of these ladies before joining online dating apps it really helps us to know how is it like to date East African men or African men in general. <laughs> These are vivid examples, guys. <laughs> so nothing that I said is a lie. But again, guys, not all black men are bad. Not all East African men are bad. <laughs> so we are going to know Joyce's past relationship experience. <laughs> Was that Tanzanian guy good or bad or that African guy? If she was dating an african guy how was it like oh was that russian guy the first man in her life the answer is no he was not the first man in her life joyce dated a tanzanian guy and everything was super fine he was very very sweet at the beginning of the relationship but when the guy took the goodies he started acting weird <laughs> <laughs> and this is the problem with Tanzanian men. They will come to you, they will be so, so sweet, they will give you gifts, they will treat you like a queen at the beginning of the relationship before you give your goodies. And when you give your goodies, 
girl your power is gone and the guy is gonna treat you like he wants <laughs> because you have given your goodies already so that is what happened to Joyce she gave her goodies and lost her power the guy started abusing her that relationship was really really toxic to her a guy reached to an extent of telling her that the day that I will leave you you will never find a cuter guy like me in your life can you imagine this really destroyed Joyce very very much it put her self-esteem so low <laughs> and that is why she kept on holding to this man due to the words that the guy told her but guys after going through a lot of abuses Joyce decided that no I cannot continue the relationship with this guy otherwise I'll go crazy so she had to end that toxic relationship so guys after ending that first relationship she tried again dating another tanzanian guy and what happened the guy could cheat on her guys tanzanian men can cheat <laughs> most of them guys they cheat a lot a guy can have even 10 girlfriends and you don't know each other <laughs> these guys can cheat <laughs> yes men can cheat but Tanzanian guys it's too much it's too much so this guy could cheat on Joyce a lot she got tired and decided to leave that guy so that was the second relationship failing so guys after those two relationship failing she was like you know what I am done done with Tanzanian men in fact with african men <laughs> i know again you are saying bella not all yes guys i know not all african men are bad not all tanzanian men are bad exist good tanzanian men exist good african men but you can go through a lot of challenges with a man and be like i'll never date again any man in my life <laughs> so joyce was like i'm not going to date any other tanzanian man any other black man it's the end and what i'm going to do now i'm going to go after my childhood dream which is to get married to a white guy but how is that going to be possible because she is in africa let's find out <laughs> so joyce was single ready to mingle and what she did she had other friends that had same dreams of getting married to white guys <laughs> so they started going to places places that tourists likes to go like in the hotel restaurants they could go to the beaches <laughs> <laughs> so that maybe they can see white guys and something can happen <laughs> you know when you're in Africa it's really really hard to find a white guy and that is why I'm so so happy that exist dating apps because it is the only place that you have got a potential of finding a white guy in Africa yes it can happen out of luck but without luck it's almost impossible guys so guys they used to go to those places but nothing came by no white guy <laughs> yeah and one day Joyce was traveling to another city in Tanzania and on her way guys in the bus met a white guy <laughs> he was seated next to her and they started talking just normal stories of africa and all that and by the end of the trip this white guy asked joyce her phone numbers so they exchanged phone numbers they started being friends talking every day this white guy was from spain and was in tanzania for vacation so after being friends for almost five months the guy started telling Joyce that he has some feelings for her <laughs> and eventually guys because Joyce was single wanted a white guy accepted to be in a relationship with this Spanish guy so they started dating everything was super super good they could visit different countries together so if you want to know if she gave her goodies or not <laughs> yes she did guys she did because she really loved this guy was so so happy the guy was very open 
in his life even introduced Joyce to some of his relatives, which was a very, very good sign. She tells us that that Spanish guy knew her weaknesses and her strength. Oh my God, that is so good to have a man who knows your weaknesses and your strength. <laughs> that means that that guy really knew her so, so well. <laughs> yeah, so the relationship was really good, but only one problem that Joyce couldn't stand. This guy had a lot of protocols. This guy was in the army, the Spanish army. So he used to move around the world with this Spanish army. <laughs> they could call him on duty. Let's go to this country. He goes, then he returns, then again, let's go to this country. So this guy was super, super busy. He was work, 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 work. To an extent, Joyce couldn't take it anymore. You know, when you're in a relationship as a woman, you want your man to give you time. When you want to talk to him at any time, he should talk to you. So this Spanish guy, it wasn't like that. Joyce could call and he could be like, I am busy. I cannot call you now. I'll call you later. And then later he doesn't call. He even calls after maybe a week. <laughs> So what kind of a relationship is that? <laughs> Joyce asked herself. In the end, she was like, yes, I want to get married to a white guy, but I think this guy is not what I am looking for. So this teaches us that no matter how you love a guy, no matter how this guy is spoiling you, if you don't see the future, you should move on. Cause you might hold on to this guy and you might never make it to the altar. So it is very wise of you, especially ladies who are chatting to these white guys on online dating apps, to see if you can see the future with the guy you're chatting to. Some guys will only sweet talk you, but when you try to see the future, mm -mm, you don't see the future. So it is wise to leave that relationship, move on, you will find the right one. Please, please, this is for your own good. <laughs> So guys, after ending that relationship with a Spanish guy, was single again, ready to mingle. <laughs> and right now we are going to know how she came to find out about the dating apps. So guys, Joyce tells us that because was single and wanted to achieve her childhood dream of getting married to a white guy, decided to go on YouTube and search where to find white men for marriage. <laughs> An interracial couples then popped up a YouTube channel of a white guy who was helping black ladies on how to find white men, where to find them, give them tips and tricks. <laughs> so clicked on one of that guy's video, started watching it, and this guy was suggesting some dating apps to try. One of the dating apps the guy suggested was Afro Introduction, and that was the time Joyce picked Afro Introduction, decided to try it. It was year 2016. So she started her journey of an online dating apps in 2016. Remember I told you she had friends who also wanted to get married to white men. So they were working as a team, helping each other to find the one on online dating apps. <laughs> this is really good, guys. Like I said, you should fight a battle with someone who understands you. So these girls were understanding each other because they were all interested in dating white men, getting married to white men. She tells me or she tells us that she encountered a lot of challenges on online dating apps. Men asking for nude photos. We all know that. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you're new to the dating apps, but if you are a pro or if you have been there, you have got some experience, you know men ask for nude photos. It is not new. So it was a challenge to her. And another challenge was that she chats with a guy, everything is good. But in the end, a guy starts saying that you're after my money. Most of white guys on online dating apps, when they see a black lady, they think all ask money. I told you guys, please, if you know you have such kind of habit, stop. Because you're making it difficult 
for other ladies who are genuine wants to find true love yes men think that all black women are after money so that was the challenge that joyce faced while on online dating apps so another thing that is very very funny with this girl of today's story joyce is that she spent four years on online dating apps and on her fourth year guys she joined a new dating app where she found love within five days do you see how god works at the time you're like i want to give up that is the exact time when you find the one guys do not give up don't give up on your dreams if you want to get married to a white guy just know that you can achieve that it is achievable so she stayed on the dating apps for four years became even a pro could help other friends to chat with guys <laughs> so guys from 2016 till 2020 december 29th that is when she got a new app from a friend who recommended it to her and decided to give it a try so she joined that day 29th of december 2020 and on 3rd january 2021 she got a message from a russian guy by the name of andre <laughs> so she says that his first message was very very good decent no strange strange talks of those guys who send you a message and they're like you're so sexy <laughs> i imagine to be with you in bed no it wasn't like that the guy was decent introduced himself and was like i'm so interested in you getting to know you more and they chatted that whole evening the second day he asked her that can we please exchange phone numbers joyce accepted and from there they talked the whole evening guys everything was going very good he was very very open it's like they had known each other for so long so guys immediately started dating because if you're talking every day <laughs> and this guy tells you i really want to know you more i really like you so much you're so intelligent i like your personality eventually you start attaching yourself slowly by slowly because the words are very very convincing as i've been telling you guys don't only trust the words but guys this online dating thing a guy starts by talking and then follows the action <laughs> it's not that they start actions and then talk no it's the words first so if the first step is tick words are so good they're very convincing you start attaching yourself you know little by little but not so much so that is what joyce did started attaching herself to andre also andre told joyce at the beginning of their chatting that i would really like to meet you one day here we go <laughs> i told you guys if you're dating a guy on online dating apps this guy should talk of you meeting because that is very very important but not only talk about it he should put actions into it so that you guys can really meet so andre told joyce i would really like to meet you one day joyce laughed and was like mm. I don't know <laughs> but let us see you have to see the actions yes he can tell you i really wish for us to meet but will he put into actions <laughs> so that is why joyce laughed and did not take it very very serious but for andre he really meant it so guys before i continue with this story there are some questions i asked joyce and i know you guys really want to know because <laughs> this is a russian guy and it's good for us to know how is it like to date a russian guy so i asked joyce was this guy spoiling you <laughs> women will always be women we want to be spoiled <laughs> so jay told me yes andre was spoiling me very very much he could send me some money he could send me gifts in those special days that i really even didn't care <laughs> like birthday yes she cared a lot we all know ladies on their birthdays you cannot just say i forgot <laughs> you have to remember and send something to her and 
if you can't, at least to those beautiful words, a message will be enough to know that you care. So for Andre, he could send gifts on Joyce's birthday. He could send gifts on Women's Day. He could send gifts on Christmas. He could send gifts on Mother's Day, even if she's not a mother yet. <laughs> oh my God, this guy is so, so sweet. Here we go again. Guys, if you're dating a guy on online dating apps and you tell him your birthday, then when it reaches your birthday, he's like, I forgot. Or he's like, happy birthday. You tell him maybe tomorrow or after three days, it is going to be my birthday. And then the guy is like, happy birthday, because I might forget. When you hear that, dear beautiful ladies, leave that guy, because it means he does not care. And when you are in a relationship with a guy, that guy should show full efforts to get to know you, should show a strong, strong interest towards you, a strong, strong interest towards knowing you, strong interest to be with you, to make you happy because you are his girlfriend. So Andre was such a gentleman, a very sweet guy to remember all these special days and send gifts to Joyce. So another important question that I know you are interested to know is Andre after 50-50 relationship? Is he such kind of a guy or a Russian man after 50-50 kind of a relationship? She told me, no, Bella, he is not after 50-50 relationship. Actually, before we met, Andre told me that his money is ours and my money is my money because Russian men are very responsible. They take care of their families. They take care of their women. Your job as a woman is to budget and take care of the family. So they give you money, you budget for it. Make things go smoothly in the family. That's your role. So your money is your money and his money is for both of you. I know there's some ladies who are laughing right now telling me, Bella, do such kind of men still exist? <laughs> Guys, they still exist and we have Andre as an example. <laughs> so guys, let's go back to the story. So guys, their relationship continued to be strong and stronger every day. To an extent, Andre introduced his mother to Joyce. That was a very, very big step that Andre took that to him was just a simple thing. I'm saying it's a big step of the stories that I have been getting from ladies who are dating white guys on online dating apps. A lady is dating a guy for a year, but this guy is still telling a lady that I cannot introduce you to anyone in my family. You have to wait. Wait till when? Why is it so hard for you to introduce me to one of your relatives if you don't have parents? It has been really, really hard, but I'm telling you, if you see that, just know that this guy is not all that interested in you and you might even not make it to the altar. Yes. <laughs> so Andre introduced Joyce to his mother. Joyce was very, very happy and the mother too was so, so happy. Got only Andre. He is the only son. So in Joyce's birthday, Andre's mother sends gifts too. Even on Christmas, Andre's mother sends Christmas gifts to Joyce because takes Joyce as her own daughter. I asked her, does your mother-in-law speak English? She told me very little, but when I talk to her, just the expression of her face tells me she's happy or she is extremely happy. Oh my God, this is so, so beautiful. So guys, never ignore this because most of you have been dating guys. You even plan weddings in your head. <laughs> And I know these guys always laugh at you. That is why I don't want you to be laughed at these guys on online dating apps while you plan a wedding that will never happen. <laughs> a step of getting to know his relatives, his friends, his family is very, very important. Don't allow this guy to book a ticket to Africa, come see you if you don't know anyone close to him. 
not the parents, not the relatives, and then you go ahead, give your goodies, introduce him to your family, never do that. <laughs> yeah, so Joyce has a very, very good relationship with her mother-in-law. So dear friends, I know you who are on online dating apps have been encountering guys whom you start chatting and immediately they ask you for your nude photos, they tell you to send a photo of your goodies. <laughs> Even last time, there is a guy, oh my god, this man on online dating apps asked a girl to send him her goodies, a photo of the goodies, because <laughs> he was like, I don't want surprises when I see you eventually. <laughs> so it's good I see things right now. <laughs> Oh my god, these guys, if you don't know their tricks, you can fall in their traps. So don't fall in that trap. <laughs> you should wait and see that surprise though. Don't send a photo of your goodies. <laughs> so guys, this is the reason to why I asked Joyce a question that when you started chatting with Andre, did he ask you your nude photos? or did he want to see the photo of your goodies so that he doesn't see surprise eventually when he comes to see you <laughs> she was like bella this guy never talked of sex never talked of nude photos i even thought he's not normal <laughs> due to the things i was encountering before him so i was like is this guy normal? Why is like he's not talking at all about that? <laughs> Only discussing of normal things, sharing his daily activities, talking every day, but nothing about the goodies or <laughs> So it seemed very, very strange to Joyce. She decided after five months of chatting, she was like, no, I have to talk to this guy and ask him. So she started the whole conversation of sex talk, but never sent her nude photos to him. So they talked about it and he was like, it's not the only thing that I am after. No, <laughs> we will get there, but not a most important thing that I am after and it is not the reason that I wrote to you. No, I want something more to that. <laughs> Create a relationship, fall in love, and then we will arrive there. This is the exact thing that I was telling you in my last video. Yes, it is normal to talk about sex when you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps after getting to know each other, but you should first create something, you know, concrete create a bond that will lead to that not in the first conversation the guy is asking you your nude photos the guy is asking weird weird things from you so guys let's go back to andre and joyce again <laughs> continue with the story so they kept on chatting everything was going super good though guys i told you i'm not a hypocrite to be telling you everything was so so good the guy was sending gifts that that not talking of sex <laughs> and then you'll be like bella is this story falling from heaven <laughs> No, guys, we are human beings, especially this couple is an interracial couple raised differently, different cultures. So she told me that they used to fight, but these fights were the fights whereby she says that a guy is strange and the guy is like, you are strange cultural differences and this happened too with my husband when we started living together i think i told you the story of the salads <laughs> whereby he was telling me salads is very very good and i was telling him you guys are very very strange to eat grass <laughs> For us in Africa, we cook vegetables. We don't eat them raw. <laughs> and he was telling me, you are strange. <laughs> so for them, they used to fight to such kind of things that you are strange, you are strange, you are strange, you are strange. But it's normal when you are in an interracial. <laughs> yeah. So they used to fight, but not those huge fights. That i told you if you're fighting a lot like a lot a lot you know there is a red flag 
it does not end there when you get married things are going to get worse so these were just normal fights so guys everything continued very well after chatting for six months and ray was ready to go to tanzania to meet joyce for the first time so they started planning for the trip everything was okay but something bad happened after joyce thinking that everything was going okay and ray got a problem with his eyes and he was supposed to be operated the exact days that he was supposed to travel so he went under operation and the trip was cancelled so after being okay he started planning again and again guys another problem with his eyes he went on another operation she tells us that andre had six operations and all the time when he plans to go visit her exact exact months he gets sick and he goes under operation when she told me i was like what that is really really strange she said yes that is what happened i asked her all this time that he was telling you he is going under operation did you confirm or didn't you get like doubts maybe he is lying she told me bella no because i was chatting with his mother send me the photos of everything that is going on in details what do we learn from here guys i told you when the relationship is genuine it is going to go straight no shortcuts you can't be chatting with a guy he's telling you my mother is sick is in coma but you have never seen any photo of his mother you have never seen any photo of him in the hospital nothing only words no guys you should be clever and confirm and if that guy that is telling you my mother is sick or my daughter is sick or i am sick if he is honest you're not going to ask photos you're not going to ask for him to confirm to you no he is going to do it without even being asked but if you see that he is not doing that ask for him to confirm to you and if he doesn't do that you know that the guy is a liar so with andre it was true because the mother was sending the photos was sending everything into details and that is why joyce did not have any doubts in what was going on but guys for her was like i think the devil is at work why is all keeping on repeating and this reminds me of a lady i was talking to telling her that if you see things are repeating the same the same the same same situation happening you know something is wrong the devil is trying to challenge you time to pray because nothing beats prayers and this pushed her to run to god started praying for andre started praying for her relationship with andre so that they can meet she tells me that or she tells us that bella january this year i fasted and told god that if andre is my husband he should come this year meet me and guys guess what nothing beats prayers because <laughs> june this year andre was able to travel to go meet joyce for the first time in tanzania this is so so good god is good god is faithful so guys eventually they met after 18 months of chatting can you imagine <laughs> so you see the difference with a player everything that was going on in his life was open the reason why he couldn't come meet joyce was clear that is why joyce waited for him but that player that you are chatting with is telling you i cannot meet you now you just wait when you ask when he tells you after three years what are the reasons he is not able to explain himself clearly do not trust him please please <laughs> so they met they were all happy went to the hotel where andre had booked <laughs> and you know what is next <laughs> do you know what it is or you're asking yourself did she give the goodies <laughs> yes guys i asked joyce and she was so open with me she told me yes girl i gave my goodies <laughs> 
another thing that is very very funny but this is girls talk <laughs> told me that when she was chatting with Andre the way she looked at him was like oh maybe the show will be normal you know <laughs> when she gives her goodies <laughs> But she told me, Bella, it was vice versa. Oh my God, the show was so on fire. <laughs> this is girls talk, guys. <laughs> but I found it so, so funny. <laughs> and decided to share it with you because she was okay with it. <laughs> Reminds me of my friend who is on online dating apps and was telling me, for me, I think white men, you know, they're not so good in bed like black men. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her, girl, oh, those are only your assumptions. So Joyce too had her own assumptions, but yo, Andre stood on his nails. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, she gave her goodies. And the reason why she gave her goodies, they were in a relationship for so long. She trusted Andre that is a honest guy because was on online dating apps, could chat with different guys remember she dated a spanish guy but she tells us that if she compares the spanish guy with andre andre gave her more of his time compared to the spanish guy which is very very important if you're dating a guy you should be able to count on him yes so guys they stayed together for two weeks in the hotel where andre was staying and after two weeks they went to see joyce's parents for the introduction also andre brought lots of gifts for joyce's family which was a very good thing for him a kind man and i think he knows how to behave around africans because we like gifts <laughs> so brought some gifts paid some money as a bride price and engaged her it was the best moment in Joyce's life even her mother was really really happy because the mother knew that Joyce had a childhood dream of getting married to a white man so she was as happy as Joyce was so Andre stayed one month in Tanzania just returned to Russia a few days ago and their next plan which is a huge they are taking is for Joyce to go to Russia so she's going in December for the wedding so we have got another wedding coming soon here on our channel so let us wish them luck by the way guys before I forget you ladies that have been like last time I got a comment a lady why am I not finding the one maybe because I am fat and she was laughing ha 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 so with Joyce she told me something that really made me laugh but I was like ladies who think that maybe their bodies are not perfect they've got big tummies or they've got you know big <laughs> breasts some are like i am too small i'm too thin i don't know if i'll find someone to love me joyce tells us that was like that joyce used to think that way but told me that with andre it is totally different does not make her feel like she has got a big tummy or she's too big he does not see that in fact told her that no your tummy is normal your tummy is beautiful I love you for who you are, not even because of your skin color. This is really, really beautiful. Andre loves Joyce for who she is. So you too can find a guy who will love you for who you are. It doesn't matter your size. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you're too short or you're too fat or you're too tall. No, guys. He will love you for who you are, just like the way Andre loves Joyce. So guys, the last question that is very, very important that I asked Joyce was, your relationship took 18 months to meet. That is a long time. Wasn't it so hard for you? She told me, Bella, if a man is encouraging, then it becomes very, very easy. And the commitment of the two of you can make your long distance relationship work. So that's the tip. If the man you are dating is encouraging, your long distance relationship 
will not be hard it's gonna be very very easy plus the commitment of the two of you not one-sided not you forcing all the time not you calling this guy all the time no commitment of the two of you so guys quickly before i mention the site where they met she gave you an advice you ladies who are on online dating apps still searching for the one she told you to keep on searching just like i have been telling you keep on searching don't give up on your dream this was her dream and it came true within five days so keep trying different dating apps she told us also she tried lots lots of dating apps this is the same thing too i've been telling you you are on online dating apps you use a dating app for three months it does not work try a new one that new one might be the place where you will find the one just like her she stayed on the dating apps for four years but on her fourth year got a new app joined it within five days she found the love of her life so keep on searching she also gave me an example that there was a friend who had given up on online dating apps but because joyce believed that she can't find the one on online dating apps kept on searching for her and kept on searching for that friend that had given up and guess what guys <laughs> joyce was able to find a husband for that friend even before her <laughs> she told me she got married even before me but she had given up <laughs> can you imagine until now as i'm talking guys joyce is still on online dating apps trying to help her other friends to find love too she's such a lovely lady with a kind heart so she tells you to not give up keep on searching and you will find the one so the big big question i know most of you have been waiting for it because i told you i am so excited about this is where did this couple meet which kind of a dating app guys they met on a dating app that is called kisses of africa have you ever heard of that app for me it was the first time it's called kisses of africa i'm going to write it down there so that you can see it i also asked her because you have experience on online dating apps what are other good dating apps that you think ladies can find love she recommended to you to if you are interested in american men to try afro romance and if you are interested in european men try afro introduction she said it's the best so you have got afro introduction afro romance and kisses of africa where she found the one so guys we have a guest <laughs> that knew that the video is at the end and she's like i want to come and say ciao saluta yeah. <laughs> so friends we have reached an end of our today's story i really hope you enjoyed it you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe please if you have not subscribed you will always enjoy every content that i put in this channel i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video